Okay guys, here it is. Uh, this is going to be a fun project here. I'm really excited about this one. This is Tesla's hairpin circuit. Just built it. I'm ready to test it out. It's a 12,000 volt, uh, 30 milliamp transformer, uh, 40,000 volt, uh, 2,000 picofarad doorknob capacitors, spark gap, uh, hairpin circuit. Uh, this is also in Inventions, Researches, and Writings of Nikola Tesla. Uh, I think it's page 339. It talks about impedance phenomenon. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I haven't even tested it or turned it on yet. Uh, actually, yeah, I could use a volunteer right now. Uh, need somebody to put this copper rod in one hand and put that copper rod in your other hand uh, while I turn it on, okay? <laughs> but, uh... It's funny, but not funny because I'm dead serious. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Safe electricity. Longitudinal scalar waves. Uh, I still have to do more research on this. It's hard to really find that much information on it. Um, but uh, longitudinal scalar waves, I mean... I've been wanting to work with this for a long time. It's uh, you know, this this is safe electricity, and and I'm gonna show you guys soon. Uh, you don't want to miss uh the next video of this project. That's for sure. Uh, uh boy, longitudinal waves. This would be the type of technology if you want to communicate with extraterrestrials this is the technology you would use to send signals out in space not radio waves <coughs> radio waves can be uh, uh, blocked by many things like a Faraday cage you know screens uh, longitudinal waves they go through everything you could send a signal perfectly right across uh, through the earth to any point on the planet with perfect uh, without any data loss it's you know perfect uh, wave uh, actually it's it's and that's what's interesting it's not AC it's not DC it's not the skin effect it's it's uh, it's not a Hertzian wave uh, I guess uh, from my understanding we really don't have any motors or generators or any type of circuitry that really runs or works off of this technology well I'm sure the the government probably has it in case they have an EMP or something happens you know and they have to go underground this would be the way to still get communication out even if our atmosphere was disrupted by some kind of EMP I bet this would still work um, so yeah I'm gonna be that's another exciting thing boy if you can get a motor or something to run off this uh so all right guys I'm gonna stop yakking here and uh stay tuned watch the next segment on this and uh yeah I'll videotape it uh, when I go to touch it here <laughs> I'm gonna be oh man all right but uh yeah okay stay tuned this is gonna be really good my lab's a mess well not too bad but so all right guys we'll see you soon